Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Heroes. This is part four now. And everybody's riding on their way to somewhere. Hopefully they're gonna be okay. Okay, that was a lag. That was probably lag on my part since uh, mm. the internet in my room is not doing too hot. But everything else downstairs is it's working fine. The internet, but I'm okay. Yeah, it, it's okay. We're we're doing di we're doing Discord for this uh, co commentary. If you, if you uh, haven't noticed, so if, yeah. if if Jets cuts out sometimes, uh, it's because it's uh, his internet might be uh, uh, bad. I just don't know it. Yeah, more specifically in what the f golly. Yeah, I know. I had that sometimes before. I get stuck on a little bit on that rail. Yeah. <clears throat> Very annoying. Yeah, this is really the first uh, level in the game with uh, grinding, huh? Yeah. Although the uh, although the second place did have that sorta, but it wasn't as prominent as this one is. Yeah. And it's way more spacious too. I yeah, mean, like, we're uh, outside, really. Yeah. And man, that those trains get a lot of people, don't they? They go really fast. You better watch yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Off we go. Oh man. <clears throat> Of course, first king of its kind I ever saw. I mean, I never knew what they looked like before before this. You mean caves or like or canyons? Oh, okay. Canyons like this, you know. I would usually see canyons in like uh, shows like Looney Tunes and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. Though you see, though you see like a column or pillar or stuff like that. I don't know what they're meant to be, so. Could this be, be more like a Badlands type area? Very likely. Well, I can't tell because we're in a JPEG place. <laughs> but. Yeah. yeah, but. <clears throat> Those objects I see around the place, that's usually, usually for scenery. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah. Again, they do that for a lot of Sonic games. I mean, it's only it's only natural, right? I mean, not just Sonic games. I know that. Me. Yeah. Need to actually have some actual uh, 3D scenery optics. That's the one important thing: game design. Yeah. And you need that to make sure that the levels look very nice. Mm -hmm. Although I don't know why we're talking about stuff like that. We should be talking about the game, not development mean, stuff. Sonic? But this has somewhat related to Sonic Heroes, at least. Oh my God! This second, this this segment scared me when it was low. I mean, that was just hypnotizing a little bit, huh? Yeah, it does look kind of cool. Yeah, I heard people were having trouble with this stage, more specifically with the uh, how to like. Transition from one rail to another. That tripped them up a lot. Because it doesn't tell you. That's why. I thought it had a little tutorial thing where it explains to you. It, it was in the second stage. People probably forgot it because uh, this because the casino place didn't have any rails in that stage. So. Mm. But yeah, this this is a pretty high-speed stage where you know what you're doing here, I mean... Yeah, it pretty much is. It's more about precision and how mm -hmm. fast you can react to stuff. It's one of the longer stages, but if you know what you're doing like I was, it's you know, pretty much uh, really quick. Yeah. And notice, that will... Sorry. Notice I went on top of the uh, station there. Oh yeah, I, I never, I actually never did that. So uh, yeah, I think that's quicker. Considering those, not, ce considering those ceilings do have hit detection, I always do that nowadays. 
you know, it, it, so for next for strats like that, listen to him. Uh, he, if it's good to be helpful in your Sonic Evo speed run, then yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't I don't know for a fact, but it feels like it's uh, faster for me. The, also, fun fact: this is one of the uh, two stages, along with the first stage, to be featured in the uh, Sonic Heroes demo that is featured in the Mario Kart Double Dash disc demo disc. More specifically, with Team Dark. Wait, that was that was with the uh, uh, Double Dash thing. I didn't even know that. Yeah, Double. Yeah, I it was. Even... Well, that's that's ironic. Yeah. When, when when you think about it, uh, Nintendo did have a like good relationship with Sega when they when they Dreamcast went out when they no longer made consoles. So. Yeah, because remember, Dreamcast is a failure. Yeah, I'm surprised. Like the first person that they went to was Nintendo for like bringing their stuff. After that, so. Yeah, and that was that's what ended their conflict, really, and what led us to today. Yeah. I'm really oh, actually. A f you surprised me, enemy. <laughs> But actually, I'm really a fan of like the uh, GBA GameCube connectivity, most specifically with the Chow Garden. I never uh, aspect. Uh, I never had that. Me neither. But it seems so interesting uh, when they had talked about when the game features stuff like that. It, it felt really nice to like. Yeah, that's like not know about stuff like. That. That's not with this game, but it was with both the adventure titles and uh, I think there's one other thing I can't remember, but. It's not just those in terms of Sega titles. Yeah, I said Sega titles, not Sonic. Oh yeah, because Fantasy Star Online had that too, but it's only like transferring them to like the GBA. More specifically to Tails Chow. That was kinda that was kinda neat though. I never yeah, I never I never played that game. I'm not a Fantasy Star person, but it it was interesting when I read about that. Oh and by the way, Super yeah. Cut here. Ooh. Fire out the cannon specifically has power type. That's the only way you can manually control the cannon, by the way. Ooh, that I know of. <clears throat> I know of that. You... I know of that when I first did this. And also, there was also another bonus disc in Japan that lets you have that lets you uh, get either Tails Chow, a Knuckles Chow, or an Amy Chow. Hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I think right after this is what made it's what made me fall a lot of times, honestly. Aww. Right, like right here. Nowadays I'm careful, but I fell a lot of times there specifically. Huh? And yeah, very, very hidden one up there. Sarcasm. <laughs> Now we're going to the next part. The next, the other train tunnel thing. Yes. The, uh, yeah. This looks very cool, honestly. Mm. I don't know how I don't know how epileptic this is, but you notice all the vibrant colors everywhere that could trigger something. Yeah. Although I am curious as what do the trains uh, do in terms of like purpose? What are they there for? Are they there just to deliver something? Other than, or are they other than this, which we which what you destroy to get out. Ooh, and now we are in a very tough car section. Uh, bobsled section. Accidentally call, accidentally call it trolley in part one. Mm. Trolley is uh, later on. In fact, I believe it's the next zone. So, oh. considering the thing didn't uh, tell me about the jump thing on this before, I was not able to get past this because uh, the lasers is what damages you on the on the bobsled. Oh. And really, only the lasers at this point. That's really the only main obstacles there. 
Oh god, good for the checkpoint. The checkpoint is really important. Let's go. Probably need, I probably didn't need it on this segment. This is pretty much like... Okay, you're pretty, pretty much at the uh, ending now, so we just decided to give you this checkpoint. It's just in case if you suddenly uh, accidentally die to someone or something. Who, who would honestly ever do that on uh, this team story? I believe I believe uh, someone else I can think of though, that uh, that could be the reason, but I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Yes. And there we got it. We got through the bit. We blew up Big Ben's head. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll have to find. We have to find. Okay, another B rank. One in the world. Hmm. No special states, by the way. I believe uh, we're not gonna see any special stages for a little bit here. Understandable. Oh, oh, hey, oh no, it's Bird again. Okay, Sonic, I'm gonna make this clear. It's an eagle. Uh, I this is eagle, but better. Look at this thing. It's wonderful. No, it's not. You just plastered the eagle on there and called it a day. I, I worked on this, Sonic. You know how hard I spent uh. on this. Uh, speaking of hard, this day, this boss will be way harder than this. I don't. I, I'm gonna blast through it anyway. Whoa! I don't give a shit. <laughs> Although this was, this definitely was a nightmare to me as a child. Not the uh, actual thing itself, but there was a glitch that kept happening to me here. And what was the glitch? When I destroyed one of those uh, uh, parts of it, and uh, those. Uh, like sections like that were split into two, it yeah. sometimes put me like down in the middle part where there's like no floor, so I'm just stupid to go to the abyss and uh, yeah. So after that, uh, I only do like a single segments like this. Mm. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that dealt with that. Nah. You're tired! Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess this is another one of those, like, spam made to win bosses. Yes. We gotta do it, we gotta do it correctly, or else you will fall to your death accidentally. Yeah. I'm saying once you, once you get to uh, properly attack, you can see, see what I mean here. And here we go, we got Bird. This time with more lasers. But less health. It's true! I didn't notice! Seriously, only 15 hit points. Ooh. Goodbye, Eggman. Burn! <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, like and subscribe. To me and, and Jets. Uh, I'll see you in the next yes, part. Bye bye, A ring. Let's go. Ace. E.